the load factor is basically how much data we have in our table. We can kind of think of it like this. If we have our array where we're going to put things, as we start adding elements into our array, we need to know how full the array is relative to how large it is. Okay. So the load factor, which we call lambda for load, is the number of entries in the array divided by, sorry, the number of entries in our data structure divided by the total size of the array, of our, of our hash. Okay. So if we have an array with 100 slots and 25 of them are full, then our load factor is 0.25. So the lambda, the load factor, is a convenience for us because it allows us to quickly assert, for example, if lambda is zero, if our load factor is zero, then our data structure is empty. If our load factor is a half, then our data structure is half full. And if lambda is one, then our data structure is full. And we need to do something about that. And as we're going to see, the load factor lambda is going to vary depending on how our data structure resolves co collisions. Typically, with an array-based data structure, once lambda starts approaching 0.6 or 0.7, you need to consider resizing the table. With some of the approaches that we'll talk about, we can actually let get lambda above one, so we're going to have more entries than we're going to have buckets in our array, and then we need to resize the table once that happens. So let's look at a couple of different ways that we can um, resolve collisions and that we can affect our hash data structure.